Hello designer welcome back to design coach so today we are going to learn how to design testimonial component in figma why we design a component because we are using the reusable component in our designs so we are creating a component in figma so let's start with the figma before we start if you are visiting my channel first time please subscribe to my channel and watch my all the component videos in your notification so let's start with the figma first here is the example of what we are going to design here is the testimonial we are using this example for our component so let's start with the first first we need a circle for photos we are using 72 into 72 pixels for photos avatar here we just give the name avatar i am converting into frame and again convert into auto layout so it's become avatar now we need a text for the text for now we are using the lorem ipsum and just go into lorem ipsum and generating paragraph i just use this first paragraph for our testimonial content i just open the grid select text layer and just draw the four column text now i just paste the text and i change the color of this text okay and now i'm hiding the grid view layout grids stop okay so this initial text now i convert this into auto layout and now give the name testimonial content i can use small and this okay testimonial content after that what we need exactly we just centering it we need the star rating and heading of content testimonial client says so we just go to library of icons and grab the star rating here is the star rating go to again example and here is the i just paste star rating okay it's a 24 pixel we need a 16 pixels for now and just go and change the color of this star rating i just duplicate this with controls ultra shift with alter i can just duplicate this sorry again i just tell or with alter you can just duplicate this select I select all the five star and create a one frame star rating and add into auto layout with this we have a text also so I just write down the text 4.5 4.5 star rating I go here and pull it to near star rating just change the color I select both and kind of add a frame selection give the name frame star rating and convert add auto layout so this is our third component for testimonial after that we need a, a testimonial name and its designation so I just select again I select the text layer and give the name John Dewey and I just give the 32 pixels it's too big you just give 24 pixels semi bold and change the color of it for now we just select primary color 
again we need a small text for its designation i just select again text and figma for this text we need only just 14 pixel text small we need two small text and line height will be 20 16 pixel okay see this is our text i just go here and add the light color of it's too much light we just add 600 okay i convert this into dark color first okay now i select the both one and frame selection and add into auto layout now give the name of testimonial name okay so this four com this four frame we need to design for our testimonial component after this select i just select and check all the space between all the frame I just go and see here is the 15 pixel for now I just use 16 pixel to each now we need to create each one have a good looking group so first we select this and this and this each one have a 16 pixel group and I just pull it center now I am going to select all this frame and convert into auto layout so here is our main testimonial frame auto layout testy monial design if you see here is the testimonial and now we have a padding for of all for the reference i just add stroke here so you can just see how it's work see here is our testimonial design now i am giving space and padding into this design just go to the testimonial parent and i just give 24 pixel from horizontal padding 24 pixels from vertical padding if you see see you just see here 24 pixel from both side and 24 pixels from top bottom so this space for our testimonial card i am just go here and give the radius of this 12 pixels so you can see this is radius for our testimonial design now I need to check it is it responsive or not because we are just using grid so we need to check is it responsive or not so first we go and just check it you see this is not for now responsive so we just go to each frame and convert it into for responsive purpose I just go there first i say select text and here i just give the fill container and again i check see it's not still responsive testimonial content select a text and i just select fill container if you see after creating fill container it will show look like this now i just drag it see it's showing responsive it's showing us responsive see you will see the responsive I just go here and I need to design this text center now it's just text center of all now if you see that testimonial is responsive now we need to add our photo into this space circle I just go and uh, select one of my photo copy and go into avatar and just select this and I just Control V for the paste. Okay, see, you will see the here is the photo we added into design. We see the testimonial design is now responsive. After making this responsive, we convert it into create a component. If once we creating this component, after that you just duplicate it, and you will change anything in this design. This will be reflect into your instance so just i select here and i need to change semi bold you can see this reflection all the way and i need if i need to change color see you will see the change the color in all the designs so the here is the benefit of creating a component 
if i need to change something design then i just select and drag this into sorry i just select this avatar and drag into bottom you will see if you want to change this section c the design will be changed automatic so here is the benefit of designing a component so we are always creating a small component for our design that's why we my focus is to be creating each component for my design so it will be changed easily in anywhere so here are my friends this is very basic of testimonial component so if you are visiting my channel first time please subscribe to my channel and learn this kind of component in my design coach youtube channel thank you